you're watching Amitha Burma. Now, I bet you've been looking at all of these beautiful fall tables and fall centerpieces, and you may be thinking, I love the look of all of those tables and vignettes, but I don't wanna go all out. I hear you, this is our breakfast table, and I just wanted to have a fall moment and not really go all out because my boys use this table for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and homeschooling, playing with the pets, so much more. Today I wanted to show you how to add fall decor into your breakfast or dining table in a very simple but extremely elegant and powerful way. So in keeping it really simple, I'm gonna look for just a small amount of objects to place on my table. And with it being fall, I'm gonna add in a couple of fall items to create a really beautiful, simplistic fall decor table. It's as easy as that. So let's get started. I'm gonna rummage through my vase collection to create some kind of a floral arrangement. And I will look for a bowl that I can use as sort of a mini centerpiece. So this is my fall stash, and I'm gonna pull from this assortment to create that really beautiful table that we're talking about. Now, keeping it simple, I'm not gonna pull a lot, and I'm also gonna be very aware of the scale. So you can see here, I've got some of these really great, big, large size velvet pumpkins. This is probably a little bit too big for the simplicity and the size of the table that I'm working on. So I'm gonna go down one size, and this is a great size right here, and keeping it in this really beautiful cream color so it ties into my kitchen. And then I'm just gonna get a variety, as I always love to tell you, when you're looking for anything, go for large and small so you can see the contrast in the sizes. So I'm just gonna pull a couple of different ones in all different sizes so we can see that variety and each piece feels special and not repetitive. Now you might be inclined to stay away from colors like this, thinking they don't match your decor. I encourage you, and in my own home, I'm gonna pull some of these really beautiful bright pops of color and contrast because you're gonna get that ball feeling and it's gonna bring that color to your home with all the neutral palettes that we're working with. So you can start to see all of these colors come together. And oftentimes when you're putting together a tablescape or a table setting, it's as simple as matching. I love this color story that's happening here and you can see that color coming through in this plate with these blues and these beautiful yellowy orange colors and the creams. So just pulling all of these similar colors together is gonna to create a great tablescape. Last but not least, I'm gonna grab some fruit that I've got right here in my vegetable sink. These really beautiful umber pears. I love these pears, especially at this time of year. I'm gonna grab those, and these are gonna somehow make themselves into our centerpiece. Now that I can see all of these pieces come together, just looking at these vases, I really love this one. I love the this really gorgeous dark brown, kind of etched raised clay feeling that's coming out of this vase, and then the cream colors that just tie back in with my kitchen. This sort of tends to be my first grab whenever I'm looking for a vase, and while I love it, this feels like fall, welcoming, and very homey. So this is the direction I'm gonna go. And now that I know which vase that I'm gonna use, it's gonna be easier for me to select the right florals to go with it. So I've got a couple of different options here. As you can see, we have these beautiful fall-inspired hydrangeas, some gorgeous dark stems and leaves. And since I've been working on a few different fall florals throughout my home, I wanna keep it really simple on my breakfast table. So I think I'm gonna just create the entire floral part of that tablescape with these beautiful olive branches. Whenever I'm working on a project that involves florals, I always grab a stash of these. They're so handy. And I think this is the direction I'm gonna go on that table. lay these down right here and then let me grab my vase I'm gonna get a container and fill it up with water so I can put these stems 
into this vase. This is just a little trick I like to do to make sure that my finishes don't get worn down by water over time. On this kind of a vase, you're totally fine, but sometimes when I'm using things that are very delicate and more transparent, I add my water into this first. Now I'm gonna start putting these olive branches in and arranging them in this vase. I'm gonna start by laying these branches in and checking the height and see how they look and feel in this room. I mean, at first branch, I was in love. I'm actually really in love. This is beautiful. I love the texture, how it looks looking out into our yard, and even the scale and the height. I typically go for a lower floral arrangement so we can all talk, but sometimes doing the opposite of what you usually do is also fun. I'm just gonna start arranging these, making sure I get them in my little pot of water. Now that we've got our florals in place, I'm gonna see which one between the platter and the footed vase looks better in contrast to this vase. I love that repeating brown and cream. Option two, maybe for simplicity's sake, we go with option one. I say it like a question, because even I'm unsure they're both so pretty, but we're keeping it simple so we can't have both. All right, we'll keep it with option one. I'm just gonna use some of that beautiful fruit to fill up this bowl. Now you might love it just how it is right now. I'm gonna take it one step further and add the third element, the pumpkins on this table. So as you can see, I left this large center section open for my pumpkins sort of tie all these colors in together and bring in the feeling of fall. And there you have it. Easy as one, two, three. You can see this is a very beautiful fall inspired tablescape without using a huge variety of pieces. If you've been following me through this fall series, you may have a couple of pieces just like this left over, and this is a great way to group them and create yet another beautiful fall vignette in your home. Keep it simple, use the pieces that you already have and may have had left over to group and tell a color story together. Tell me your favorite part in the comments, or if you have any questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you love this type of content. Then be sure to subscribe to our channel and make sure to ring the bell notification so you don't miss another one of our videos. After that, head over to my blog where you can sign up to receive our design newsletter and soak in tons of great design tips. Till the next time we meet, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts. Okay, testing, testing. We're doing a fall moment instead of a whole table. Testing, how does it look and sound? I love him. I could have 10 of them. Oh, thank you for that little hug. Can I do my video? Can I talk to my loving fans who want to learn all about home decor? Mm. Rohan! So this is gonna be a great, simple <laughs> vignette. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna start putting these olive branches in. I think the floral arrangement is taller than me. To see which one looks in contrast to this face. Did I say which one? If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this video. Yeah, okay, yeah. See.